Hello everybody, I'm Yukio La5 here with um, me, tessellating hexagons, because I am such an ethical slut that I have to versus more than one person in the space of about a month. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys. And also We're hello. playing playing Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. This is the first proper is it even the first party, first party Nintendo title that I've played on my channel? Just because I don't know. I don't know. Well, alright, so, um, this is gonna be a learning process, I, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're starting, we were playing here, um, I probably should have been walking. Yeah, I, I, I'm sort of not sure when we're starting here, so I've already gone into, um, uh, talking to Zelda. Uh, it's like a, oh, no. it's like a conscious effort to call her Zelda, because I'm so used to referring to X Zelda from uh, network, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Awkwardness. Okay, so I think how this is gonna go down, um, <laughs> is we're just gonna play through the game. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Uh, we're gonna be keeping track of rupees, deaths, and hits. Yeah. Um, even at the time of recording, I'm not 100% certain of how I'm going to track the stats, because I can't do them in fixed levels like I could with Glow of Fire Dreams. So... I don't know, I'll just do what feels <laughs> right. <laughs> Teehee. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's been a while since I've, All right. since I've played this game. I don't remember when the last time... I, I think I got it as, um... Well, I got it sometime when it first came out, and then I got it again for free as part of the Nintendo Ambassador thingy for the 3DS. So, was it last year? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. Um, I haven't played this game in many a years, so I'll have no idea what I'm doing most of the time, so. And I've never played it to the very end. Like, like I managed to get to the final dungeon, and then I just kind of stopped for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why. I'm pretty sure I've beat it at least once. Hmm. Yeah. But, um, I think, I think we're on pretty equal playing grounds here. Yeah. Then again, I thought the same was true with myself and Alex with Empire of Dreams, and then stuff happened and it ended up being a complete whitewash. So, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I don't know, for some reason I couldn't watch the last few episodes of Empire of Dreams, like the la like the ones where it was just Alex, it was just kind of like... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, Zelda, I get it. You're a whore. <laughs> we, we, all, we all know. The, the, the euphemisms with the shield, they're just... Okay, that's rude. Ugh, you're already at the shield? Man, I'm, I'm so far behind. I don't like it. It's just, I don't like losing. They're making all, all these jokes about, oh, it's such a small shield, and then and Zelda's like, oh, it, it matches you perfectly, and then they get a text box saying, you got the shield. It's, it is a little embarrassing, yeah. though. It's so tiny. It's just... Rude. <laughs> oh, that's the penis reference we're talking. Okay, I actually talked to the old guy instead of talking to Zelda, so it, like, took me a million years to get through that text box. Well, Great. that's kind of awkward. Oh, and there's another <laughs> genitalia joke right up ahead with the business scrub and those nuts of his <laughs> in, in different colored text as well. That's just... So subtle. <laughs> yeah, I really do like uh, some of the mechanics in this game, though. Like the Minish Cap, where you can shrink and stuff. Yeah. That's really cool. It's kind of a, an interesting Zelda game, because it's, it's sort of similar but different from the other ones in that, like, it's kind of like Twilight Princess in that it has, like, this extra gameplay mechanic with, like, you got the, the Minish Cap of, versus you know, the wolf form, and it, it's clever. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we get it. I can get a droopy uh, heart or shield. Now, I, I would say the you know, kind of awkward sort of gap between where I am where you, and, the, and where you are, but I'm... Yeah, I, I, I cannot words. 
this is just the intro, and you're bound to catch up at some point. I mean, yeah. the opening cutscene is just a means to an end. Because there is absolutely no skill involved at this part. Yeah. It's just walk around, talk to Zelda. I, I kind of don't want to mention this just yet, even though it's not exactly a spoiler, because you're there and I'm over here. Unless you've been lying the entire time and you're some kind of strategical genius. But the main antagonist <laughs> of this game, Vati, I think. Is that how you pronounce it? Cause oh, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, it's Vati. Yeah. Well, is this the only game where, where Ganon's not the main bad guy? Or, in fact, Ganon's not even involved at all. And, unless you count that, that one game where Tingle was the main character. But... <laughs> um, he would... Mm. Unless you count the um, one of the Four Swords games, because that has... Yeah. That has Vati as an attack. I don't think Ganon's in any of the Four Swords games. I never really played them, apart from the promotional one that they, um, they did for the... To the DS, right. where it was going hurt. Was it 25th anniversary or something like that? Okay. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me. What? Oh. Well, that's weird. For some reason, my A button is the X button. I'm using a GameCube controller, so. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. That is weird. Um, oh well. I'll manage. Or maybe it is X, and I'm just not... I don't know. And for the second time in this opening cutscene, Link wakes up. Or, in my case, Tess, because there isn't really enough space for anything apart from just Tess. Or Tess H. Yeah. But then that'll be Tesh. My, my name's... My name's just Yuki Ola, so... There's no room for the five. So sad. <laughs> Let's all cry about it. Indeed. Awkward silence ensues. Yeah. <laughs> for a moment, I was trying to work out what, what that last word was, because for some reason my brain processed it as I N space S O O S. <laughs> Awkward silence <laughs> ensues. It's soon. Like, I don't know, like, like a, a symphony dedicated to the awkward silence played on the humble sousaphone. I don't even know what a sousaphone is. Just know it's some kind of musical instrument. But it's humble. So. Well, it's humble, so that's all that matters. Yeah. And I've got a sword. I'm actually really. I oh, yeah. I'm actually really happy I don't have to be the one editing these. Or... I, I find something... No offense or anything. Yeah, it's fine. I, I find it weirdly therapeutic anyway. Plus it... Hmm. Plus it means I can just do what I like because... Yeah. Yeah. I can work editing magic because I'm just so wonderful in that regard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. This is getting pretty intense. More, more intense than a campsite. Uh, I made a pun. Okay. Intense. I don't. Tent. Oh, oh, oh! That was so bad. Sugar Conroy, I am not. <laughs> Tess, go home. You're drunk. Drunk with the puns. I don't remember how to get oh to God. the next place. <laughs> Good. Now I might actually be able to get through tutorial, or not really tutorial, more of intro bullshit, but whatever. Yeah. I just... Oh. So, uh, yeah. Uh, does this uh, little fact go between verses? If I start singing the uh, Lion King intro, will you censor me? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what has Canada started? Actually, it was me. What, what have I started? <laughs> yeah, you were the one who did it. Oh no, Zelda's stone. She's that's... hard. I was, but, um... I, was, I was just gonna make a joke about her getting stoned, but whatever. Oh. Uh, uh, she, she's... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it occurred to me just now that damage in this game isn't in whole numbers, so should I just count it in terms of number of hits or, like, number of hearts? So we'll have, like, 0.5 and 0.25 of the damage on the counter. 
A uh, number of hits, I think it's fine. Okay. I suppose that that's fair because, I, like, you might just end up against some kind of boss that does 20 bazillion hearts of damage because fuck you, but then at the same time might just... There. I don't know. Okay, I finally got out of bed for the second time. I feel like I'm very far behind you. Eh, uh, you'll catch up. Dun I guess the, dungeons are a thing. That's partly my... F yeah, dungeons are a thing. That's partly my fault, though, because uh, when we first started, I didn't do anything. I was just kind of introing as if I were doing a let's play. <laughs> and I, I introed as well, and I thought, what if he's already started? I don't know. And then... <gasps> this is my first versus, so... I'm a I'm a versus virgin, if you will. Well, well, this is only my second versus, from what I recall, unless I did one that I don't remember. So you have it. So you have experience. Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm just about uh. just about to get Mr. Hatface. Dialogue is such a thing. It is indeed. One thing I never understood about this game was, why is the hat also a bird? Oh yeah. Wait, you already have the Minish Cap? I'm just about to. Because dialogue is a thing. Ezlo, that's his name. Aww. Tess, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't cry, it'll ruin your makeup. <laughs> but do I look pretty? Everyone's pretty in their own way. That's another way of telling me I'm fat. <laughs> Not at all. Wow, Tess, you're such a racist. What? Against fat people. <laughs> fat people are their own race. <laughs> Didn't you know this? I was gonna say, since when was BMI a race? Uh, since like forever, man, there was a meeting about it. That's not about that memo. No one tells yeah. me anything. It's just because I request that I get all my memos printed on waffles, and then I eat the waffles without reading them, and... Ah, uh, sadness. I feel like there was a way for me to speed up the text. I mean, I was pressing A and B, but apparently that wasn't doing it. But apparently I found a different button that would me do it. And I found it. And for some reason it's... Oh, there was a button to speed up. I'm an idiot. Apparently my A and B button are the X and Y buttons, not the... A and B buttons, as it were. And, uh, yeah, that's that's cool. Apparently A is R and uh, B is L, so that's a little weird. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but now I have to, I have to go to the bottom right of the screen. Also, how, how are we counting um, damage from, like, not enemies, but just falling off stuff? Does that count as a hit? Um, because I... I mean, if you lose a heart, it's a hit, I'd assume. Okay, because I kind of fell into some water several times because, I don't know, picky hitboxes. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have to cut, cut the trees. Gotta cut the trees. Okay, thanks, dude. I just took a hit, man, that's not cool. No, now I'm at one hit. Now I'm gonna lose the verses just because of that one hit. Oh no. Yeah, you sound very, very disappointed. Oh. Uh, because I am, I am my own special, unique type of asshole. Oh. And I, you're not an asshole, you're just a... A regular hole? A whole ass. <laughs> I don't know which of uh, those... Yeah. Which, I don't know which variation that was better. You're, you're not an asshole, you're a penis hole. Penis represent? <laughs> I have one of those. Congratulations? It's a pineapple. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a pineapple. Like, I, I'm fairly sure that in one of my Tumblr Slack videos that there was a post that was something like that, except in, instead of a boner, it's just an aeroplane and your entire crotch is an airport. Mm. Airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. Uh, have you heard that song? No. But I have heard, It's I have Airplanes by... Huh? What? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. What I have? Guys, I'm scared. Yay! It's what I do best. Tess, hold me. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not Farid Mamadol. Tess, that breaks my... That breaks my heart, Tess.
Yay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to react in social situations. <laughs> don't. I did not mean to talk to you, you stupid bird. Oh god, oh god, I got hit four times right there? That is... That is not cool. Go, 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 combo in the face. Well, I think I already have more hits than you. I don't know. I'm up to five, I think. Well, I've got a map telling me where, oh, the, no, I'm not a... where the plot MacGuffins are. I'm not a math magician. Okay, uh, can I, can I have you? I want you on my head. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, I've never actually seen Breaking Bad, but like, does, does, Breaking, does that involve math magicians? Because, Chris... What do you want? Yeah. This guy says he can... He's... Uh... Okay, there we go, finally, he, he latched onto my face. I think I'm in the first dungeon already. What? I don't know how this is happening. <laughs> I'm scared. How do I check my map? Why can't I smash okay, he wants me to go sword? How do I exactly check the map? What button is um, I think it's... Uh, oh. It's start, and then... One of the buttons. Oh, here we go. I found it. Okay, so I have to go to like some kind of hut? Oh, oh no, I see where I have to go now. Uh, if I can... I really have to switch up the controls between this and the next episode, so... Yeah. Okay, um... So yeah, now how do I become small? That's that's the important thing. Reverse Viagra? Stumbled across and important... What? Reverse Viagra? Make you smaller? <laughs> I don't know. Re reverse Viagra? <laughs> oh. And funnily enough... It is by... I had a similar conversation with Alex about the concept of a reverse boner once, and I'm just like... I, it would go inside. Yeah, I'd imagine it'd be rather painful. Alright, so this bird is just, like, chanting a spell. And now I'm tiny. Cool. Now I'm in a mushroom, and I'm... I'm, I'm having so many tutorials me. shouted at me. Oh, hey, look, now I'm tiny. Oh, so do you have to go on the stump to become tiny? Yeah. S seems like I, that's what did it. I just fondled a mushroom. Okay, so I'm gonna explore here. That's what it's all about, right? Oh god! Well, I guess that that's a hit. I fell in some water. I think that's the exact same water you fell into when you were. But with the um, lily pad things. So yes. A really fussy about wave. Oh my god, El Ezlo, will you just shut the nipples up? I don't care about. How do you your shut your nipples up? I'd imagine that you use, like, um... Oh yeah, it's, it's some form of duct tape. Because they're breast ducts? Okay. Uh, am I right? It's a yeah. biology pun? No. Oh. 